Hi, I'm Michael McKinnon and welcome to the AVG Academy. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how you can secure your Android phone. We're going to cover seven key tips in this talk and the first one is around upgrading and updating your Android phone, not only the operating system but also all of the apps that you have on it. The problem we have with Android is that there are many, many people with Android phones out there and there are many different versions of Android phones and also different versions of the Android operating system. At the time of recording this, the latest version of the Android operating system is version 4.4, which is given the affectionate name KitKat. Now, if you're not running the latest version of Android, you should seriously think about upgrading your device. And if you can't upgrade the device, sometimes older devices are left at previous versions that can't be updated, you might need to seriously consider upgrading the device to the latest version so that you get the latest version of the Android operating system. Doing this will give you a really good peace of mind and make sure that you're getting the best security features and the latest security features that are found in the latest version of Android. The second key issue is securing your Android phone against physical loss. You might not know this, but the biggest risk you've got with your Android phone is actually losing it or having the device stolen. It could be as simple as just leaving it in a cafe or in the back of a taxi, for example. There are many possibilities of this happening and we know that it is one of the biggest risks that Android phone users have to, to date. Now, one of the simple tricks that you could actually do is if you have a cover or a case on the back of your phone, consider just putting a label with an ad, some address details or something, hopefully not too private, a post box address or a mailing address, and perhaps even offering a reward to someone who's going to return it to you. That's what I do, not with a label, I actually have that on my lock screen on the device. So if someone picks up the phone, uh, you do need a pin code, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but I have uh, a reward with a dollar amount and also a postal address where they can return the device as well and I'll give them the reward. Now coming into the third issue, of course, is around the pin passcode or biometric security that you can have on the phone, so that in the case of losing your device, for example, if your phone is in the hands of a complete stranger, they're not going to be act able to access all of the important information you've got, such as your email, your full contact, contact or address book list, uh, all of your other documents, photos, and any other personal information you might have on the device that no doubt you're carrying with you all the time. Now, the fourth thing I wanna to talk to you about is how you can find your lost Android phone if it goes missing. And the great news here is that there's plenty of technology available to you that allows you to do just that. Google have a thing called the Google Device Manager or the Android Device Manager that allows you to log in and find your device on a map. And you can do some other features as well, which are really good. If you want some advanced features, consider using AVG Antivirus for Android, which is a free app that has some extra features, such as the ability to send you an email and alert you that if someone has taken your phone and they've changed the SIM card, for example, we will send you an email with the serial number of the new SIM that's been inserted. This information can potentially be used to follow up with police, for example, to find out who may be in possession of your Android phone. The, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is making sure that the data on the device is completely backed up. Your Android phone really, at the end of the day, is is while it's holding data, it should be backed up such that if you did lose the device, you can just replace it and just get another one. And of course, we know that as new models of Android phones come out, you're more than likely tempted to upgrade to another model. And you wanna also have an easy path of upgrade to new, a new Android phone so that you can just ditch the old one, get the new one out of the box, set it up and all of the data will just reappear magically. And those settings are actually available, which is really great news. What you wanna be doing is going into the settings within uh, Android and looking at backup my data, which is an option underneath backup and reset. And there's also an automatic restore option, which is great so that apps will reappear just like they were never gone. Lastly, I wanna to talk to you about how you can prevent malware on your Android phone. 
As an Android phone owner, I'm sure you're very aware of some of the risks around malware that exists on the Android operating system platform. And the reason for this is because Android is incredibly open, which gives us access to some amazing apps but it also puts us in harm's way because some of these apps can do a little bit more than was originally intended by malicious authors. It's really important that we follow a few decent steps here to protect ourselves as much as we can. The, the next thing you wanna do, of course, is make sure that you have a security software on your Android phone. This is an absolute must, and it is a great way of ensuring that you are scanning the device at least once a week for known malicious apps. And also every time you install a new app, uh, AVG antivirus for Android, for example, will automatically scan all new apps that you install to give you that peace of mind and make sure that you're not getting any infections onto your Android device. Now, Applications like AVG Antivirus for Android, which you can easily find in the Google Play Store, provide you plenty more features than just scanning for malicious apps, such as the ability to block unwanted calls and SMS messages from bullies and even scammers, for example. Uh, Euro lottery uh, text messages are quite often a, a scam that goes around and, uh, the, and our app actually blocks that really well. You also want to keep your Android phone running in tip-top shape and AVG antivirus for Android will delete temporary files on a regular basis and really trim down the space that your phone is using so that you've got plenty of space for new apps to install, for example. And you want to maintain your privacy and your peace of mind by also having features like being able to remove call history and text message history as well. Once again, thanks very much for watching this video. We hope this has been of some value and we look forward to seeing you next time at the AVG Academy.